Okay, Diego Panayotti is the type of player who impacts the team both on and off the court. Somebody who, when he's on the bench, which is rarely, you know, he's always there, you know, throwing a hand over somebody's shoulder, making sure that, you know, they're into the game. If somebody's not having a good game, he's the type of person who's always willing to pick you up. And when he's on the court, by his sheer determination, by his willingness to go the extra mile, pushing himself, not, you know, uh, both on the defense and offensive side, is, you know, he's somebody who just lifts the, you know, the team spirit collectively. Somebody who will be missed dearly because those type of intangibles cannot be taught. This is something that, you know, the kid was actually born with. Responding to setbacks, Diego Panayotti has only lost two times in four years with, uh, with our basketball team. The first time was they were in the semifinals of his freshman year against the American School of Tegucigalpa, which just happens to be our rival. It was a game in which uh, our team was leading by more than 20 points in the first quarter. And the uh, game seemed to be in our hands. And little by little, the team just began to fall apart. And eventually we lost this game. I remember Diego saying to himself and saying to me, I was only an assistant back then, that he never wanted to feel this sort of pain ever again, knowing that he had a game in his hands and just letting it slip away. Uh, the other time was his junior year when we were playing the same tournament, but now on the varsity level. I remember playing against one of our new rivals, which is the International School of Tegucigalpa, which has two of the best players, you know, at his uh, age group. And I remember playing at home, and I remember the team coming in overconfident. He wasn't one of those players. He was telling them that we needed to play at a high level. And I remember the team falling short of expectations during that group stage game and eventually losing by seven points. Diego took it upon himself to gather the team at his home that night to, uh, to go over the video of the game. And I just remember Diego kind of pointing things out, you know, mistakes not only for himself, you know, but for his other teammates. And when we met the same team during the finals, I remember the, how the team basically responded, but it all began with Diego, inspiring the players after I've given a pep talk, leaving the uh, uh, locker room, and I just remember Diego taking everyone by himself and just making sure that everyone was well connected. And the result was a uh, team victory uh, by more than 20 points and winning the national championship at the varsity level. Um, well, I guess you can say the term gym rat would probably apply to Diego Panayotti. Uh, someone who's the first one in, one of the last ones to leave, Someone who's always, you know, willing to put, you know, put up a couple of extra 50, 60, 70, 80 shots, whatever it, you know, whatever he needs to work on. Okay, the type of person that when practice begins, he's the one making sure that the coach doesn't have to scream, making sure that his teammates are focused, that everyone's, you know, running hard on all the drills. You know, that making sure that when the team is competing against each other, that no one, no one is not giving their best. Making sure that 100% is the standard by which we measure all of our teams. Okay, he's the standard bearer in the basketball program here at EIS. He's someone that even the little kids in primary school look up to. Everybody wants to be like Diego because of the way he plays. But, I mean, just the way he plays is not enough. It's not indicative of the type of player that he is. Because Diego does so many things well that it's hard to kind of categorize him or to put him in a single spot. Because everyone wants to be him because he just does so many things that everyone would love to do. Uh, Diego's greatest potential. Okay, Diego's greatest potential is that he has only been playing organized basketball for three and a half years. Out of those three and a half years, I can basically say that he has only practiced for about a year and two months because Diego is a multi-sport athlete, somebody who is just as skilled at soccer and volleyball, and somebody, you know, who along with his, you know, religious commitments and, you know, his social commitments, you know, he dedicates most of his free time to other things, you know, uh, extracurricular activities. Diego's greatest potential is that he's never fully committed to a whole basketball season. He's never committed to a nutritional program, a weightlifting program, uh, working on his techniques, working on tactical you know, uh, skills or abilities. If Diego was to do this, I think that his potential is limitless. You know, he's very athletic. He has a high basketball IQ. And if somebody who's always, you know, he's thirsting to learn, somebody who has the hunger and the appetite to actually succeed at anything that he puts his mind to. Why should any coach want Diego on his team? Diego is the type of kid that if I had a daughter, this is the type of kid that I want my daughter to date. As a coach, he embodies everything about a selfless player, somebody who sacrifices personal glory for team glory, uh, somebody who puts family values as one of his key characteristics, somebody who's religiously devoted, somebody who just everybody wants to be like, okay? Uh, Diego Panayotti is the type of player that I, I can never replace.
and I will never replace. I will never have another Diego Panayoti. Uh, I'm lucky and was blessed to have Coach Diego. I'm just hoping that somebody like him can come along, but I don't think I will have the privilege of ever seeing a, another Diego at EIS ever again. So if you have a chance to coach this kid, okay, this gamble is really not a gamble. It's kind of a, it's a high risk and it's a high reward, you know, investment, and not only both in the short term, but as a long term investment for your program.